Hey everyone, I'm Luke from Weld Pro, and today I'm here to walk you through the setup of the trigger switch for the Weld Pro TIG machines. If you have a TIG welder from us, chances are it has a trigger switch that either came with the CK torch or was included in the body of the Euro torch. Using the foot pedal to control your amperage is one of the more common ways to weld in a bench environment. However, sometimes portable welding and or out of position welding will require you to use a trigger switch. This makes it so your foot doesn't manually have to operate a foot pedal. If you have a Weld Pro machine, chances are it came with a trigger switch. If it's not already included in your Euro style body, you may need to route the trigger switch wire up the entire length of the hose before installing the protective cover. Once the trigger switch is zip tied to the body of the torch, you can plug in the Amphenol connector to the front of the machine. The trigger switch is easy to install and operate, but there are a few settings on the machine that will make running this a little easier. Most of the settings for the TIG process when using the trigger switch will remain the same. However, we're going to want to use our menu buttons to go over to the upslope setting and make an adjustment. Upslope adjustment is based on time and is indicated in seconds represented on the digital readout. Think of upslope this way. When you hit the trigger switch, the machine isn't going to put out its full potential amperage immediately. Instead, it's going to linearly increase the amperage over that time frame that you have preset on the front of the machine. Using this upslope option can resemble gradually increasing amperage on a foot pedal. A good standard setting for upslope is about three seconds. This is a nice slow time where your amperage will come up to its peak potential. Now, we can't correctly use upslope without adjusting our downslope control as well. With the downslope adjusted to three seconds, what will happen is when the trigger is released, the amperage will decrease from the peak amperage down to zero over that three second period of time. This will mimic gradually backing off of a TIG foot pedal to extinguish the arc. Now that you have your upslope and downslope control set, something you can do is ride on and off of this torch trigger to increase and decrease your heat while you're welding. If you need a little more heat, hold down on the trigger. If not, you can back off for a few seconds. Take some time, play around with that upslope and downslope control and see what you can do with the trigger switch. The next time you have an out of position weld or a weld where you need to stand up, you'll be grateful to have the trigger switch along with the upslope and downslope options. As always, thanks for tuning into our videos. Take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure to enable your notifications. That way you'll be alerted when we release the latest content. From all of us here at Weld Pro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new TIG welder.